For more, we cross live to our correspondent, Clément Bonoro, in the capital, Kinshasa. Now, Clément, as we just mentioned in the program, President Shisekedi has declared a state of siege. What does that mean exactly? Well, it's not exactly clear what it means. Uh, what we know, what I can tell you, is that President Felix Chisikidi cites Article 85 of the Constitution, which states uh, that, I quote, if severe circumstances immediately threaten the independence or integrity of the national territory, then the president may proclaim a state of siege or a state of emergency. Now, of course, the government hasn't said exactly what this measure would entail. Uh, more details are expected in the uh, coming uh, hours via a presidential decree, which is expected to be issued uh, later this uh, Saturday. In any case, it's worth mentioning that the announcement comes uh, just days after Prime Minister Sama Lukonde uh, suggested putting in place a state of emergency in the east of the country to stop the deadly violence there. Uh, the prime minister suggesting uh, replacing the civil administration with a military administration and beefing up military presence in the area. Now, Clément, why now? Why is this measure being adopted at this particular moment in time? Well, there have been almost daily protests uh, in uh, North Kivu and in Ituri since the beginning of April, uh, particularly in uh, the cities of Bunya, uh, Beni, Butembo and uh, Goma. These uh, protests have at times been uh, violent and they've drawn uh, hundreds or thousands of uh, protesters uh, demanding an end to insecurity in the east of the country, demanding an end to the bloodshed, and also uh, some accusing the MINUSCO, the UN force uh, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo and the Congolese army of failing to uh, protect them. Now, it's uh, worth uh, highlighting, as you mentioned, that the region has indeed been plagued by decades of a chronic violence and in instability. An estimated 122 armed groups are said to be operating in the region. Some of them uh, are accused of carrying out uh, atrocities against the population. The most striking example uh, would be the Allied Democratic Forces, the ADF, a group which is originally from Uganda and has uh, killed hundreds of uh, civilians since 2014. The group has been accused uh, by some countries, including the US, of having links to the Islamic State group. And the Congolese president, uh, Felix Tshisekedi himself, has described this uh, group, the ADF, as a terrorist group. And he's promised to do everything he can to eradicate it and also to bring peace to the east of the country. Thanks for that update. Clément Bonnero reporting live from Kinshasa.